Hey guys, what's going on? Today I have a pretty exciting thing that's going on. I'm going to be testing out a new app that I've never done before. It's called Deliver That and I have an order for Bonchon, so I'm gonna go head over there and I'm gonna go pick up the order, take you guys along with me and see how it goes. This first order that I got for Deliver That was for Banchan. You can see here that it tells you the order cost, which is the total cost of the items in the order. So I did a little bit of research and found out that this order was going to be a pretty small order. It's not like I was going to be delivering anything huge, like you'll see at the end of this video where I delivered for a Mexican restaurant that was a couple hundred dollars and it was literally a cart full of food. The distance was 8.9 miles, the drive time was estimated to be about 13 minutes from the pickup of the food to the drop off of the food. The customer said that the order can be left with the receptionist, so that's pretty great. But wait till you see how that goes in a few minutes. The delivery commission is $8.37. That's how much Deliver That is paying me to deliver the order. And the gratuity is an easy cater tip pool, so the range will be $21 to $27 per delivery. So when I arrived at Banchan, the store was still closed. It told me to get there at 1050 and I got there at 10.45, and it started to tell me that it was overdue, so I just put in that the restaurant was having a delay. That way, Deliver That doesn't think that I'm the one that's taking their time for the order. So I just stood outside for a bit, walked around. It was a pretty nice day. As you can see, it's nice blue skies and, and a little bit of a breeze, but there wasn't much to do. And then right at 11 o'clock, when the store was supposed to be opening, I grabbed my bag, I went over there, showed them the order, they just put it all in, signed my phone real quick, and we're on our way. So one thing about the gratuity is that it typically ranges between 21 and 27 per delivery. The tips are all passed on to drivers who take them and split evenly amongst easy cater deliveries. This won't really come into play unless you have a catering order that's over $1,000. Once the order total is over $1,000, the delivery of the order will be split up into multiple drivers and all of the tips will be split between those drivers. Another thing that I want to mention is down at the bottom of the order screen you can see that there's a gratuity or toll reimbursement. So there's this form that you can click on and you can upload any documents such as tolls that you paid to get to the order and they'll reimburse you for those tolls or anything like that. When I got to the delivery location, I grabbed the bag of all the food that needed to be delivered and walked inside. Sorry for all the shaky footage, I didn't record this and she was apparently really shaky. I forgot to mention this, but as part of doing work for the Deliver That platform, you need to wear a black dress shirt. Funny that this order said that it could be left with the receptionist because I got there and there was no receptionist in sight. I decided to start unpacking the order so that if the receptionist came back, I could get on my way quickly. While waiting, let's take a quick look at the coffee station they have in the lobby. I ended up calling the customer and they came down, signed my phone, and I was done with this order. Catering delivery? Um, it's here down at the receptionist. Okay, cool. Yep, bye bye. I'm just gonna get a signature from him. You said it'll be in 10 seconds. Oh, it brought me right here. It's pretty easy. <laughs> they delivered at the other building. I'm like, huh. it, it literally it says it right here. Yeah, I know. I parked like right over there. So <laughs> cool. Well, all, all right. right thank day. you. Appreciate it. Now, for the second order that I did, things went a bit differently. First off, I wasn't able to get any footage of picking up the order other than this picture. This time I knew I needed to bring a cart in because this order was expected to be huge. The delivery was supposed to go to a hospital, so I parked in the hospital, put everything in the cart, went inside, and the receptionist told me that they moved to another building. So I just decided to walk there, hence why I was walking down this ramp. This order was pretty easy. I walked in, they led me right to the break room where they wanted the order set up. One thing about Deliver That is that you have to set up the food in a buffet style when you get to the customer unless they want the order left at the front desk or receptionist or anything like that. 
So that's exactly what I did. I took out first the big aluminum tins full of all of the different meats, then put all of the toppings for the meats next to that, then added all the plasticware, napkins, serving utensils, plates, etc. at the start of the buffet, and then finally put down all of the tortillas and rice. Once I was done, I snapped a quick picture showing that it was set up in a buffet style. There was some random person that was watching me put everything in a buffet style, so I had him sign for the order and then I was on my way. So now let's get into the pay of each of these deliveries. The first delivery had a base commission of $8.37. It had a $23.87 tip on it, so in total it was $32.24. And then the Mexican food delivery was $11 base commission. It had a $5 adjustment, and then it had a $23.73 gratuity or tip. So in total, this order was $39.73. I didn't get any footage of it, but I did do another order. This was just pizza and wings. This one had a $7 base commission. It had a $25.37 tip and in total it was $32.37. So one thing about pay is that you're paid twice a week with Deliver That. You're either paid on Wednesday or you're paid on Friday. So if you do any deliveries Monday through Wednesday, you get paid that Friday. And then if you do any deliveries Thursday through Sunday, then you get paid the next Wednesday. Coming back to the adjustment and bump, Deliver That states that for every 15 minutes that you're waiting for a store or waiting for an order, you'll get a $5 bump automatically. So if this is interesting to you and you do want to sign up for it, I'll put a sign up link below. Just go to the website and you can sign up. There's one thing to note about this that a lot of people don't like is that you will have to pay some money to sign up. It's around $20. I'll throw up a screenshot if I can find a picture of how much I actually paid for it back when I applied to be a Deliver That driver. You essentially have to pay for a driving record to be completed on you, or you can give them a driving record that you've already paid for, and you can just give them a copy of it. Another thing to note about signing up is that you will have to have catering bags or purchase them directly from Deliver That. I just decided to purchase them from Deliver That, because why not? They're branded, and they looked like they were decent. If you do have catering bags, here are all of the requirements that you have to follow in order to have your catering bags accepted by Deliver That. And also you should probably buy a folding cart like I had in the video because a lot of these orders can get pretty big and a folding cart will really help you be able to transport everything where it needs to go. I hope that you like this dive into Deliver That. Let me know what you think about the app in the comments below. If you wanna sign up, there's a link down in the description. If you've ever done Deliver That, let me know how it is and if you enjoy the platform. But that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.